two months a day. Okay, so while we were away, I went through levels one to three again off screen, and I got basically one encounter. I at the wrong health level here. Or okay, so before we start all this stuff up. Those are the things I have to do. If you get all three, you get the sentinel battery. I got a load of sentinel batteries between the four and the And I put it in the suits. You can't read these unless you're in a level. And I keep forgetting to read them. But they look really important. So I'm going to... Uh... Oh, okay, cool. I've actually got two rooms in the box. Life. I don't work. That's how I do. <laughs> I changed the UI. You may have noticed suddenly a lot more blood red and a lot less colorful. I found out you changed the UI, and I was like, oh, I don't like this green and orange. So, so while we were away, I upgraded the suit a little bit. It's now got some environment resistance, some toxic stuff. What's that? That's a lot. Um. It's got, what we got here, I can't read that. Explosive pinatas. So this is, uh, explosive barrels drop ammo now. That's actually been really handy for me. Because some areas it's like, oh, I'm running low on ammo and I picked up all the ammo and I don't really have anything to chainsaw because I killed all the grunts by accident and everything else takes free chainsaw fuel. So that can be a problem. It's really helped me as well doing this, working out how things work. It's just we already had that faster ledge ground and monkey bars. This was really helpful because I went back and picked up everything I could, all the collectibles, and you really need this. Otherwise, you spend a lot of the playthroughs just bumbling into like things going, Is this a secret? And like, it's not. <laughs> it just tells you exactly where everything is. And some of the later ones are. Give you a wider fog of war. Um, reveals all exactly what the progression items you're looking for are. Reveals the auto map. So I still haven't got any grenade shit because that's all quite expensive. I only have two now. So our options are immune to explosive barrels. That might be helpful now that I'm using them for ammo. Both of these might be useful. We got this one, yeah, there's bigger fog lights to attention that, and we have this one, faster weapon switch. I do switch weapons a lot. <laughs> uh, there is that. Let's see if I can keep it. I'm a very wholesome man. Uh, yeah, my, my day is essentially baking and looking after my cat and reading books and listening to podcasts. I thought, ah, oh, I finished but getting up to speed with Doom. Maybe I can do the next LP. So I was kind of like, I want to see what happens next. And I saw Doom Hunter base when I finished last time. And I was like, nice, that sounds interesting. So, uh, I don't really like the exploration stuff too much. It's like, it's useful, but it's just like, hey, we'll tell you exactly what things are. And it's like, well, I'm going to go pick them up anyway. That's handy. And low, you know, lower barrel damage is also handy. I'm kind of airing on this one though. I'll probably regret this later. But you know, I'm gonna unlock them all eventually. I've got four weapon points, so oh, I don't have enough to fully up. And I'm not using that very much anyway. I'll do that one. Microwave beam can't do that one. Lock on burst can do this one. Last reset. I've already fully upgraded this. I know we just got it in the last mission, but I've been using it a lot and it's really good fun. And you can see I nearly done the mastery challenge too. It's a fucking good gun and it's pretty easy to upgrade. So I did that. Looks like we're going to be doing this one just for the sake of doing stuff. Big sounds of progress. Um. No map yet because we just started the thing. So, yeah. Okay, there's a load of 
this story of a story of a story of how the, the, the demons they're literally called fodder you can see they're still missing a fodder type doom blade oh look at all the, the shit you can get secret cheat codes so we'll i'll look into this off screen like i said because it's just like it's a lot of tutorials and lore and stuff we could do a whole lore episode and we haven't even unlocked everything yet so we'll do that later. Slightly harder to see, as you can see, it's varying shades of red on whether or not I've uh Oh hello. Oh, you didn't die as fast as I was trying to be cool. That's what I get. Oh yeah, I could actually look at the screen that's not having a bit of latency issues, that would be a good idea. I'm always like, why do I suck when I LP? It's because I'm watching a tiny, like, recording window instead of the actual thing. <laughs> okay, let's show this off. Ah, oh, fuck. Let's show this off poorly. Stop moving. I'm really just doing those for the uh, mastery, but they are really useful too in certain situations, but I'm overusing it. So, a nice little train mission here. This reminds me of the train in Revengeance where you first meet uh, Jetstream Sam, you know? When you first meet Jetstream Sam, it looks a lot like this train, and Brayden gets his arm cut off like a To be fair, just being Sam it is the boss. Oh. So I've heard a lot of, I've been avoiding as much as I can spoilers, but occasionally you listen to a podcast that's about gaming and they're like, oh yeah, I heard there's a Virgil in this game and people are like, having it explained to me makes me understand why I was having such difficulty before is because it's really got a lot more like, character action elements and once you think of it that way it's much easier for you to get the idea of the speed it's wanting from you and like it wants you to use all the tools and any glitches and errors i've been coming across have kind of faded off with the bigger levels actually or maybe i'm just not experiencing them as much oh fuck those guys and like there's hard counters for everything that the shield guys, you just overload them with the plasma. And they blow up, and they wipe out anything near them as well. So this guy's been tough. And it's just like, like I said before with the uh, Kaku Demon, you can deal with them the hard way if you want to show off your, fight, your, your superiority with the guns, but you would just give making it much harder for no real reason, and things kill you quick in this game. I thought I was bad. People are like, no, it's harder. It's significantly harder. So, you know, replaying the levels has really helped me get to, like, understand what I was doing wrong before and, you know, improve my ability to do the game. Oh, they're up there. I think I can jump that high. Is that a thing? I'm like the Winnie the Pooh meme when he's looking at the... Oh, it's not, it's not a thing at all. Oh, I'm terrible. Oh. Hey, who the fuck invents a thing like this? Oh, you know what I want the decor to look like? Like a, the inside of like... Even the Terminators didn't have such a ridiculous base. got to get used to the the platforming trains you on how to use uh basically everything like auto correcting back onto ledges and stuff it teaches you how to like just do it subconsciously and at first i was fucking up so much i was just like that would be that would be useful that would also be useful that would be less useful super shock have any of the mob just the new book that use all the super shotgun, they don't always have a bomb. In, in 2016, anyway. So, uh, precision. 
heat blood. But I'm using the micro missiles a lot. I'm barely using the microwave heat. So it's tempting to just get that because it might be like more something I just regularly use. About arsenal optimization. So yeah, that dash, you got two stacks. You use it to get in and get out. Auto correct stuff, just okay. Pinkies. Oh, didn't mean to waste a blood punch on him. So I didn't read that, <laughs> which may be a problem later. I'm guessing it's the same weak point they always have. Hang on. I may turn this down a little bit. I feel like I'm being drowned out. So, um, yeah, I'm assuming the pinky's weak point is what it's always been, which is their butt. Shoot them in the butt. They don't like it in the butt. You know, it's like a massively upgraded armor and health now. Uh, yeah, it's just important if you're going to play this game to just go back and get everything and do all of the encounters and just try and get as many points as possible because they're all really useful. And while it doesn't upgrade your health, it upgrades your guns. And you're, you're using them guns. And you have to use all the subsystems that, you know, the equipment in Doom 2016 was like, eh, it's okay, but we're not using it all the time, you know. Oh, you just keep coming, honey. I forgot about that. Change. Oh. Uh, shit, fuck shit. There's a lot of people. Yeah, <laughs> let's just move away for a bit. Yeah, don't stay still, is what I found out. That's always been Doom's thing. Just keep strafing, keep... Uh, yeah, why not? Let's use this. Oh, fuck. Wrong... Wrong shotgun! Friend. Thank you. Oh. I'm panicking now. Fuck. It's because it's new. When you go back to the old ones, you're like, Oh, I know exactly what to expect. But, like, these, you're just like, Oh, what the fuck is that? Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, what we got here? Yeah, why not? I was advised as well by many people to not just kill the small guys as well, but it's like sometimes you just want to fill it, you know, get rid of the ads a little bit, make your life a little easier. But it's like, nah, if you do that too much, you're not going to have any, like, easy health resources. Because they all drop health and ammo and shit if you do certain things and armor if you do another thing. And it's like, you know, I'm just nuking them and it's like a waste of the bullets and shit. So I still have bad habits. Ooh. Oh, yes, let's see the new thing. Stabbed in the face. Ice pick the bottom of Oh, I ran out of the gun. The gun is... Oh, there we go. Yeah, let's do this for the ammos. I haven't seen any red barrels, but I haven't been looking out for them, so... Let me see them. There's a lot of red in this room, so... So I'm assuming the Doom Hunter is... Okay, see that missile lock thing? That means the revenant's got you in, in his missile lock, and you have to run to drop that lock. Okay, uh, we got some stuff. We got some stuff. I found out why I can only ever chainsaw the small guys and why I'm always running out of ammo uh, for the chainsaws. You always, the last blip of chainsaw fuel always regens, like Deus Ex, but, uh, gotta dash out of that. Uh, oh look, there's one. Oh no, that's, that's just a fancy chandelier. Oh look, look the mines. That pulled me out of that situation. Just to throw myself back into it. Let's try this. Did I change it? What mod are you on right now? 
Yeah, this looks new. Let's try it. It's not, it's not, ugh. It's a slow ass missile as well. Ah, there we go, there it is. Yeah, I think that's going to be more useful for me, because, you know, like, the microwave beam involves concentrated fire and staying stationary, and I hate staying stationary. Let's just go back and forth this stuff here. Yeah. All the small guys, where's the big guy? And that the rest of it will be easier. Unless they spawn other guys in. They spawn other guys in. Oh, you're big. You're bigger. You look smaller from down there. Bye bye. Let's clear out those guys. Uh, probably should have used it on him. That would have done nothing. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, I didn't keep the blast fast enough, I don't think. Oh well. Um, yeah, so, like, this game is by no means bad. I know I was a bit down on it at the beginning. I was like, oh, I don't get it. Why am I dying so much? And I was kind of like, this isn't like Doom 2016, where it was much easier for me not to die. Oh, hello. <laughs> but you can see I'm actually doing a lot better than I was before. Oh, it changed gun and I didn't notice. Is that bad? Top level plays here. Oh, <laughs> I feel sorry for that gargoyle. I was aiming at the, <laughs> I was aiming at the arachnid and that guy was like, "Fuck!" <laughs> oh, I feel sorry for you, friend. Oh well, didn't even know I had that. Out of ammo. Yeah, out of lots of ammo. The pink means out of ammo on this. One. Hello. Your ammo now. I'm after your lucky charms. Sure. <laughs> Gives me a little bit of armor. If you do it to big guys, it's better, but like. You can flame them, it won't kill them if they're in a vulnerable state and they're big guys. And then you can just then immediately glory kill them and they explode in like armor and shit. So it's just like, oh, handy. Because, you know, it's that extra like bonus health bar essentially. <laughs> Although obviously it doesn't act like that, it acts in a different manner, but like, you know, for all intents and purposes, extra bar of resistance of some kind. So you see, you're playing this and it's more like how you would play a Devil May Cry game. If it's like, if I don't know what I'm doing, just trick out. It just gives you a bit of invincibility speed. I'm probably going to get called out on terrible. But like, it's just real handy. Okay. Oh, wrong gun. Oh. <laughs> That was the lamest thing ever. <laughs> oh. Let me try and work my shit I am just running around and around while I try and work out where I'm going and then killing these guys. They will just keep respawning. Backbreaker. Come here, friend. Thank you. Oh. Die, my darling. Yeah. Oh. Oh, these fucks. Yeah, playing these again. These are annoying. I don't like these. Doesn't matter how many times I play. It's just murder them and hope they die quickly. Because their moves are high damaging, they jostle you around, they're just fucking offensive to me and everything I love. I don't want to waste another rocket, but it's fine. I saw health. Bullet damage doing dumb shit there. Uh, and I can't really. You notice when we first were introduced to Sneaky McGee over there that we weren't given a. Because I recalled it obviously when I first encounter because it's the first run. Oh, fuck this guy. 
snuck up on by a fat guy. <laughs> um, yeah, you'll notice that uh, ooh, we weren't given a thing on his weak point, the sneaky dude. Oh, cool, we're just like. I'm just running away from this guy all the time, I just need to do this. There we go. That was stupid. <laughs> it's fine. He didn't give me health. That guy gave me health. Yeah, so like I was saying, we didn't get told what his weak point is, so I'm not really sure how to deal with them other than just keep hitting them with guns until they stop being alive, which, you know, standard for a Doom game, but like, everything else is like, hey man, this is a grunt, so he's just gonna turn into a crater with a couple of hits, and, oh, this guy, this guy, he has a way of dealing with him, you know? Oh, fuck. Fuck me, I have one bullet. Okay, let's go find a grunt that's not surrounded by Snako over there, because he does pull you away from stuff, and do shock waves and like oh does his uh repukans everywhere that's what I was looking for I was gonna say power geyser and it's like it's not power geyser repukan Zara oh, repukan hello dead Imagine being in recruiting for the Demon Horde, and you're like, oh, I hope I get something cool like Arachnatron, at least. Or like Imp, maybe. And you're like, nah, man, we're just gonna zombify you. Do I even get a gun like those zombies? No. Do I even get clothes like the Winner Zombies? No. Just go out there nude and get wrecked. Like, oh. <laughs> get turned into a fine mist. <laughs> like, fucking sucks. <laughs> like. Yeah, I'm a torso. Whatever helps the cause, am I right? I'm sure me standing around with no weapons is really helpful. To be honest, the gargoyles are just like winged, bladed versions that can shoot you at you. I'd rather be an imp than a gargoyle. Ooh, friend? Oh. Oh. Well, let's check, check with our new magic man. Because our new magic map tells me if I fucked up. Like, see? I would have missed that. And I looked through one of my old LPs and I straight up walked by one of these. I was like, wow, I'm an idiot. Oh. Oh. Blah. Okay, um. Seems that there's some sort of gate. Which means there must be some sort of switch. Haha! <laughs> I found something. Oh, okay, there's not a switch, there's just a secret trapdoor, but same diff. We need these. Although I haven't been back to the Doom Fortress, and you can't mission to, like, the Doom Fortress quite yet. So it's like, oh, okay, cool. I have, like, five batteries now. Five batteries now. Oh, and weapon points. And it's like, great. So glad I'm using all of these batteries. Because, <laughs> yeah, I haven't had a chance yet. Oh, handy. Never just run at the teleporter, because it tends to go, his progress, and you're like, ah, I missed the lore page. I got the lore. I smell burning. It's on my laptop. <laughs> I'm going to put it on somewhere hard and cold. Oh, wait, then I can't. Then my mic won't work. Ah, uh, professional, professional. Ugh. I don't like it when my laptop smells like burning. It makes me think I'm gonna fucking bring my laptop up for a virus outbreak, and then I'm gonna be like, "Fuck, I have no means to do anything." But I should probably stop doing it though. Just 
safe but I'm not so really paranoid. Really paranoid. So what I'm gonna do is gonna turn on my AC. Because uh, my AC is pretty strong. It's like my house overheats if I play the PlayStation for too long because my PlayStation just overheats in this for some reason and also does my laptop and all tech in this. It, the whole time I've been in China and Hong Kong, everything has tried to overheat and melt itself. I think it's just the climate and the humidity really fucks with tech. So, um, yeah. It was not easy to find an opponent worthy of the sphere, but I think you would be impressed. Right. So yeah, like I was saying, um, it really fucks with everything, so I have to put my AC on hold. I went back. I'm in the climax there. We're gonna show you something cool. Bye! I'm cool. So obsessed am I about the fucking secrets now. Oh, cool. Is this the guy? He looks like a monster rather than a Virgil. So, uh, yeah, I luckily my AC, my AC in this friend all is really powerful and turns, and I, it's in Chinese, so I just press it on and don't fuck with the controls because then it turns everything into subpolar temperature, so I turn it on for a bit until my cat meows at me to turn it off again because it's too cold. And it keeps the ambient temperature kind of like in the nice. Okay. Not that. Well, I can't reach that. Can I reach that? I can reach that. And I assume green. Oh. Oh. It drops it. I actually have to not be an old fucking person. <laughs> oh. And there's shit down here. Am I supposed to. Mm, was I supposed to do that earlier? I missed a rune already. Okay. Oh. oh. Hey, I got this map, everyone. It'll stop me from playing like a bad. It in fact did not. Oh, so, you know, I can always play off screen again. I don't mind the rooms, they're not bad. Okay, explain the functional use of floating coffin. Such a fucking. They feel like Crash Bandicoot platforms of anything in this entire game does. It is a wobbly platform floating in the air. Why? Shut up. It will fall if you stay on it too long and you'll die. Wow. Anyway. Oh, hello. Okay. The ability is the way. I do it. Ooh. That's a spicy kill. I like trying the varieties, the variety things. You know, just killing them always the same way gets a bit boring. So. Oh, hello. I don't want to waste this on you. Oh, now I want to waste it on you. Uh, I now have the great ability of fucking myself over regularly. Oh, dicks. Friend. That feels like a slight decline to here shouldn't be death. Okay, fine. <laughs> yeah, it helps if I make the noise. So, uh, I managed to get so jumpy out of the pinky's way that I managed to murder myself, so let's try it properly. You look just like the 2016 model. Oh, and you have a better turning cycle. There's a better turning cycle. They've improved pinky handling. Yeah. 
hate the end of that. That's so bad. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> oh, more coffins. Seriously, like, where do I even go from this? Oh, you see them there, okay. I'm kind of running. You can see it saying to me that I need to be in here, but, like, I can't just jump here, so. And, like, the thing is, when it's the first level, I'm like, ooh, let's keep moving forward and see the cool shit, rather than 100% completion run each time. And, you know, I just go back later. I press dash to dash into it, but I'd run out of the dash, because, like, I had landed from the dash. Dash. Uh, oh, hello. Now what? This is green. It is green. Oh yeah, I see, I see. I'm in fact going the correct way, it just super felt like I'd fucked up or accidentally found a secret. <laughs> Oh, that's very kind of you. Thank you. I'm thanking the space station. Ah, oh, I see. Some sort of zappo. Sure. Oh, you're new. And you just have, like, Aegis reflectors or something? Wow, Urian let himself go. <laughs> oh, I got a point for doing that. Hello. I should be walking. Stab. Punch. Hmm. Do I need ammo? This is low ammo. One ammo, please. A box of ammo. A lot more monsters and enemies and designs and stuff in this game. I just hope that there's lots and lots of guns. Because I'm going to be really sad if it's literally just this wet oil, you know what I mean? There's a good amount of guns, but it's like, it's not enough. <laughs> I need more. More. It looks like progress. Do I want progress, or do I want these shinies? There's a lot of shinies over here. Oh, I can even see one. Ah! Oh, I'm bad. Oh, I'm... Oh, I just set fire to my own asshole. Genius. So whenever I make hot swords. Okay, dokily. So we wait for that to come back. It was a moving platform. Oh well. Fuck you, platform. I don't need you. Oh, it's so cool. It's so cute. What if pop vinyls were good? They'd look like that. <laughs> they wouldn't be like five for ten pound at games. <laughs> This also looks like a thing that I need. Slash what I was just saying, I couldn't want to go back for. Uh, perform glory kills faster. I don't really. I like, I can see why that's useful, but it's like, if, are you invincible? Or anything? Uh, I'm pretty sure that. Regenerating equipment. Sure. Equipment speed. I miss it when you broke the Argent energy capsules. That was cool. Oh, this is cool. Whatever it is. Okay, I, I knew there was another secret somewhere, so I don't want to leave yet. Oh no, I picked up the little door. Uh, oh! Onwards! <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so this is all just horrible, spiky death. Oh. Well, we can see what it does. Oh, is it not on the timer as well? It's only on a timer. Well, fuck me, I guess. I was like, oh, well, I left it too long. Whoa. I'm really close. Chandeliers. Hey, you know what I need in my space techno dungeon? Weird, out of place skull chandeliers. Hey, aren't we supposed to be killing the Doomslayer? Yeah, but we don't want it to be too lame, so, you know, we've got to give him a chance. So let's just leave all of these handily med kit, placed med kits on the floor for him. But we're undead, we don't need medicine, shut up. <laughs> it's not sporting otherwise. But he's literally murdering thousands of us. No, it's fine. They're dead. Actually, I don't like the rooms. Ah, uh, look, it does go in there, that's good. So, before you had to do so many room challenges, like 9 or something, to unlock all of the extra slots. But now, apparently them slots just wide open. <laughs> I love making horrible dang commentary. Hello. Burn. Burn for your master. Oh, why am I doing bad? I think this guy just shoot him from afar. Thank you, Bye used to be really not that scary. They used to be okay, but now they're like, oh, you can real fuck up. How'd that shield work out for you, buddy? <laughs> I'll just walk around your shield. Let's have this. I haven't messed around with it enough. Lasers, you say. Backwards, you say. Oh no. I should manage to get the right way. Did I get all the things? So you see, this is demonic corruption, and now I've fucked up the UI. It's red on orange, so it's pretty hard for even me to see. Yeah, um. So when the bars fill up with red, it means I've killed everything, and I've cleansed the area. I've cleansed it. That's the word they use, <laughs> and uh, yeah, <laughs> so if I cleanse the whole area, we can walk through the valleys again. Oh no, what's happening? Oh, I deserve this. I deserve this. <laughs> so the coffin's over there. There's also a coffin I can't face there. And, like, I would shoot them, but, like, you know. Good, good. Good. We're doing it. <laughs> Hello, friends. Oh. There's everything here. Everything. Everything. Think of how you're as important. Everything. <laughs> hey. Hey, yours, and what do you want to eat at the buffet? <laughs> oh, okay, yours. <laughs> Not gonna say something for anyone else. Hey, hey, yours, and hey, yours, and you know there's a virus outbreak on right now. You should probably save things for everyone else. No, I need everything. <laughs> Which toilet paper do you want? Yours, and everything. <laughs> <laughs> this is really just for my own amusement. I don't care if you don't find this funny. I am just being a dumbass. <laughs> uh, I'm just going around punching shit as well. Oh look! A coffin! Getting a lot of nihilistic theming here. Was it fatalism? Check me out with my long words, I don't know the meaning of it. Oh, well that doesn't look very good. I also feel like we shouldn't have let that out. So I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> oh, well I had to for the Hellgate. So there's here, and there's here, and there 
was where I came from. Oh. Split pathway. Secrets. Confusion. Profit. Bullets. I like those. Uh, that looks like I need it to go there, but it also looks like there's a glass thing. Uh, there isn't a glass thing, it's a glass thing on the other side. Ah! Ah! Uh, burning! Floor is lava. Okay. Rockets. Oh. Um. Oh. Back. We go back. We go back. We fuck up. It's okay, we're alive. Okay, so there's something on this. Or in this? Or through this? Oh, that children's book. God, you have to be a really specific person to get all of my references. <laughs> Hey, do you know intimately no children's books, but also no like death metal? <laughs> Shut up, I'm a kindergarten teacher, don't put me on all this. <laughs> okay. Glad he can grip on forever, because yeah, I'm oh, oh that that was not a good feeling. <laughs> oh <laughs> look at him touching the non-grippable thing. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of not progress going on, and I'm wondering how to get yes progress, and I think I've just worked it out, but I wanted to just not think for a lot longer than that, although I'm sure this LP is going to be really long. The great thing about Doom is each LP session is a fucking level. It's <laughs> just one level. Ah, I did it again. Good job I always get caught in this thing. Oh. Oh. I'm bad. Oh. No, I want it. Gimme! <laughs> Maybe I fucked up from the beginning and I was supposed to go up this side. I feel like that's what was supposed to happen. Or I'm just wrong in general. It looks like there's a hole in the back. I feel like I hit it from the back sometimes, you know what I'm saying? See, look, there's shit. You see that? that it's mocking me. It's playing a grappling. We do it. We don't do it. Oh! <laughs> The donut saved me. New flavors, metal. Oh, I think the thing I think is a climbing surface is in fact not a climbing surface, which is making this even more frustrating. Okay, fine, we'll just leave it for now. Or we'll just find a platform I was supposed to obviously find. Ah, oh, it's fine. It's just wasting the viewer's time. And I'm lazy and I can't want to clip anything. So, ugh, what am I doing? Wrong way! <laughs> okay, that wasn't my fault. No, it was my fault. That was just a genuine mistake. Okay, let's start again. Right, so it's this way. And it's not fuck up. And it somehow just cheese your way into getting out of the situation. And your play plan is now progression based, and I have, to, I have to go back at some point anyway. So there's a thing on top of this one too. We get this one. We do this one. Ooh, one shot, one kill. Oh, those are game breaking, by the way. I've got one already that's like infinite extra lives. Basically, you can't die already. Then it's um, 
also gives you sentinel armor straight away, which is like the, oh, you're doing really bad, you keep dying to this boss, here's just like crazy cool armor. Oh, this is progress. Oh, I don't like progress. I like being annoying and like wasting people's time. Oh, there was a... Oh, I'm so bad at the thing under there as well. How do you get that? There are runes just coming out your dick on this. Yeah, if there's runes coming out your dick, see a medical professional. It's down there. Oh, I have to fall through the middle. No, I'm doing that. I want to see the cool thing. I want to get up close to that coffin and see what's, see what's up. It's just a torso or something, but like, I'm sure it's... Look very Iron Maiden, you know the Seventh Sun album where it's just a flowing torso. Yeah, that look like that. Remind me of that. <coughs> Pull through the middle. Yeah. Oh, even better. It's one of these dudes. It's way better than the rune. I keep getting the runes and it makes up. Creator suit points are way more important to me than runes. Runes are like mother. Whoa. Hello. <laughs> Someone doesn't know personal space. Oh. He's still down there. He's like easing up to me. That's kind of creepy. Oh, and he's broken through the geometry. Oh, that's horrible. You're not allowed to do that. And then I broke. You're, you need to do it. You needed testing. I don't think most people back off that quick, though. So. You should have told me, ghost. Anywho, I think that was all the ones down here. And there's more coffins. But no easings. Aha! So we got some stuff. The creator suit points are really useful. I promise. Okay, let's, let's go do the thing now. Oh, you're one of those. Oh, you're one of those. Get back to your home country. <laughs> oh no. I wouldn't want to die like that. I just kind of cough back on my rear legs like... <laughs> Worst ways to die. Um... What? <laughs> That's why you check. <laughs> Don't just jump, you check. Alright, let's try it again, like, but not just jumping. So you got this dude, right? Got this dude. Oh, well, I was supposed to... Wait, no, not clearly at all. Clearly. But, but stuff. Um... Okay. I do make the noise, it's involuntary. Okay. That looks way too far, man. It's, oh, there's ooh. Ooh. Oh, it doesn't fall? <clears throat> this one doesn't fall, that's nice one. Oh. Oh, you need to go there. That's important. That's also important. All of these things are important. Gimme. So we got loot magnet. <clears throat> Health for blood. I can't read that. Let's look at the small screen. As long as you're at max health, all health pack pickups contribute to blood punch. I don't actually like that because that means I'm going to accidentally use health packs when I don't need them and I lose health all the time, so I'm very ready at max health. Flame Belch takes off less time to cool down. I've been using that a lot more. Maybe a super stay on fire longer. This is mostly the Flame Belch and as long as you're at max armor, all armor pickups come to blood punch. So it's armor version of that one. Quick draw belch, nay palm belch. Ouch. Nay, 
Lower cooldown, drop armor at a faster rate. Mm -hmm. I'm always in need of more ammo. I really am. You notice I'm running out of ammo a lot. Like now that I'm getting better at the gameplay, I'm not actually dying as much. So it's like, ooh, so like, and like it's no biggie if I die. Whereas if I'm running around with no ammo, it's definitely going to mean I'm going to die. You know what I mean? If I'm going to die on something really, really, really easy, then it's like, oh, well, fuck it, I'll start again. But if I'm like right near the end and I'm out of ammo and I'm like, oh. Um, I mean, you have that as well. That's kind of cool. Getting a lot of Terminator vibes with all of the metal skeletons. Another battery. That's six. And the game's like, you, uh, I swear the achievement was use eight sentinel batteries, and I'm like, oh, but I've already got six and I've already installed one. Keeps making me think that the game's really cool. But that is pretty cool. Hey guys, this is one Outback Steak Restaurant. This is one Outback Steak Restaurant. <laughs> I had fun with that. <laughs> oh wait, can I just... That looks way too far, man. Ooh! It is if I jump off the edge like a spab. Did it put me back? Oh look, I don't have to go back now. Hey guys, I meant to... Time-saving technique for us speedrunners. So the heat blast is pretty good. Blast, I like the heat blast. So I had to go there to get the red key cut. So it makes it look like it's an optional area, but it really is. And I guess if I went over here first. What was it not the slave who brought the defense to us? The con maker has you to thank for the gift of ardent energy. It is you who are responsible for your people's suffering. Yeah, uh, of course. Usual shit. It's your fault for bothering to fight them. If you stopped fighting them, where would Joker be, Batman? And also, I'm actually like pretty normal size, says Hellpriest. That's just to make me look more powerful. Hologram me to like 10 foot tall. That'll scare him, even though he's met me and murdered one of my friends. Like it, you notice it also highlights the weak points on the main thread. Well, sometimes the weak points aren't really like, oh, it's heavy damaging, it's just it takes away their weapons. You know, like the turrets and stuff on the turreted enemies. Although I noticed that they do die much faster than the record points if you remove their turrets, which makes you think, oh, that's not how that works logically. Ow. Oh. He was gone, and then he was on my head. Wow. Please don't kill me. Please. Please, please. If I run away, they can't kill me. Yeah. I'm actually doing worse on this than I was doing on the power. Wow, I missed. So I was doing that shit, and I don't really like. I find it harder to evade arcing bullets. When I was playing Shovel Knight, I had this big problem with arcing bullets, like the poison, um, the plague knight was the worst one for me because of his prone things. And when I was using him, I could aim the trajectory fine, but like if I was fighting him as Shovel Knight, I could not work out, you know. Arcing. I can't do trajectory of arcing bullets very well, so... Oh, you look dead! I'm fighting you with the worst weapon for this. Oh. Well, are you just kind of mid-air supernova there? I need 
near hell. Oh, there's one of them up there. And out of there. A load of shit there. Whoa, look at all of this stuff. It's actually the same amount that I look at on the dossier, but like it's just like um Oh, you take quite a lot of damage. Huh. Or it's just your shields. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing the big metal door. Of course, it's just behind the big metal door. Um, some sort of hatch or crack in the wall or anything like that. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you're up there. Hiding in the vents like John McClane. Strange place to be if you're a ghost, or whatever. Oh, is it a strange place to be? So, I got four points. Shall we have a look? Let's get some with the grenades. I haven't been using ice bomb that much. Got four, what's this do? Scatter bombs. Each demon killed by the grenade spawns its own bombs. That's awesome. Combustion concussion. Grenade emits a second larger non damaging explosion at halting distance. Takes less time to cool down after firing, would also be useful, but you, you know, I've got enough of it. It's not really fucking good. Yeah. <laughs> also got five points in the. Thing, but a lot of them cost six the mods I wanted, so uh, that kind of threw me off with that little lingering there. They're growling. I got quite a lot this time. Oh yeah, I met these in a Slayer challenge that I didn't record. They're annoying. Especially when you miss all the time. Oh, well I wanted to be unique. But never mind. So you can see there's a lot of enemies that are coming up now. A lot of new enemies that I'm like, you know, Doom 2016 only had like so many enemies. And uh, these guys, and they slow rolled them a little bit. Pinkies were really late in the game. Oh, I knew it. Because this is the worst place to fight them, they're going to get you now. Oh, yeah, so it does work. Ah. Oh, I hate these guys even more. Yeah, that's pretty neat. So I have to get that grenade pulled out there. Because that grenade is pretty useful. Okay, so we did that. Oh, come on, man. That's just, that's just stupid now. <laughs> so it's like the front cover of a Man of War album. Like, come on, you're just two steps away from the Metal Tear album. Check in, just check in. What about this thing here? It's all underneath. Okay, so it's all down there. Is it gonna let me drop down, or is it gonna be like, no? So it looks like something that would say, no. Okay, that's weird. Okay. Yes. Well done. I can I just drop down. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was weird. 
This is locked. I feel like I could probably... Oh, there's a window! Take away all my fun. There's a thing there as well. Oh, I can go up. I feel like I can go up. Glad they put these climbable surfaces everywhere. This doesn't look safe. I want to speak to someone's manager about this. I don't think I'll just be in it though, so. I didn't get my things. I want my things. I think I come back to this yellow thing. What's a yellow thing? I haven't actually encountered these yet. Oh, it's, it says demonic corruption. If they're yellow, well, if they were pink, they were optional before, like secret challenges. If they were purple, they were um, Slayer challenges. If they were red, you, the main story ones that are like kind of in your way of blocking progress, so you have to kind of do them unless the game bugs out. Get me if I run away. But I can't land here, so I don't know what the fuck I was planning. Now it's respawn me somewhere and I'm not. I don't know. I knew he was coming. They never stop. This is what I'm supposed to I jump there, I'm not gonna get out of the thing, am I? Well, I'm at the but I'm stuck. Stuck? Am I stuck? I may be stuck. I like this thing I've missed, so, uh... Um, I'm just taking stupid bullshit now. Uh, no way to do it. See, it's, okay, it's pointing me to that. So I could just try and double back if I come from here. Oh. Oh, you're just stuck in. You look stuck. You know, you would have followed me like the other guy, right? Oh, mm. you slightly one pixel below, not gonna let you through. Platform bureaucrats. Platform. That was me. I'm just losing health on bullshit now, so I'm trying to run through this. I feel like the game is gonna get stuck there if I don't kill this guy. So.
either get burnt or it slightly grazes the side and fucking like chucks you off the edge going, No, you didn't land on the certified pixel. I'm obviously missing something. Well, apparently I'm not missing something. Whatever. It's good to be far up. What I don't understand is how the fuck we're supposed to get back to the right bit. Oh. Good looking, I guess. This mega death looking piece of shit. I said that before about the guy before. This this is mega death. Thanks to a little five finger death punch smallness. So we're back here, and this is a lot now. All here. Go pick up this. Oh, I'll read that later. Something about resurrection. See? Don't tell me the window's open now. I really wanted that secret. It's gonna annoy me. It using trying to find with uh, anything with this red filter on there. Oh, uh, there it is. Losing health for no reason. <laughs> That's nice. Though. At least I get a little laugh out of each one and go, oh look, isn't that nice? They don't give me any health though, but there's a boss fight coming up, I'm fucking dead. Look in here. Ah, so yeah, the yellow, uh, why I haven't received it before, I'm gonna assume it means boss fight or Marauder fight or whatever this guy's name. Doom Hunter, Doom Hunter's fight. It does look like he has his face, so... Oh, that's a blood, how? Well, we'll find out then. But like, every level it brings in new shit and I'm like, oh. I thought you would appreciate the sentry archers. The great Argonaut hunters from the Telos realm. The long fought to be extinct, created to hunt only the Slayer, and his not sentinels during the Unholy Crusades. Some improvements on their design have been made, and ensuring what is undoubtedly my finest work. So they turned a demon who was long dead into a tank. They never asked the demon's permission though, did they? I feel sorry for me. Look at this fucking weak point. Long range lock on rocket. Shield and sled are weak points. Oh great, I'm getting low battery now. Fuck. Wait, 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 wait. Fuck shit, fuck. So, uh, shield and sled are weak points. Destroy the shield with plasma rifle to briefly disable it. Destroy the sled to finally disable it to protect your shield and missiles. Okay. 
Oh, and I've got no ammo. Great. Thanks for bringing me in with that. Okay, so I'm going to play on the small screen now because uh, my charger is not where I want it to be. Just try and get some stuff done. I uh, tried to read. It's cooler over here, so the laptop should like it too. So, um, yeah. So shoot the shield. Shoot the shield. The shield. Shoot the shield. Gotta get the balloon. Wait, what? Uh, oh, he's over there. Oh, hello. Very maneuverable for something that's on a fucking sled. Ah, oh, just fucking. No more shield. Oh. So super heavy demon is that. So I assume yellow means super heavy demon. I'll keep that in mind for now. On the map, I mean. Oh yeah, here's that lock as well. Uh, find something to kill. Find something that's not big to kill. Critical damage, le damage critique. That's not correct French. Fun mispronunciation knowledge. Some of my friends speak some Italian. I've learned a little bit of Italian, but I'm not at this level. Uh, and he has an Italian pen friend who's like native level, but is a native Italian. And um, he's Greek. But he speaks really good Italian and he was talking to his friend and he was trying to talk about pollution and he thought that the Italian for pollution was la polluzione which uh, actually polluzione in like there's completely different word for pollution in um, Italian polluzione means wet dream <laughs> so he was like I feel very strongly against wet dreams <laughs> he was like why <laughs> it's like what, what's so wrong about them oh they're ruining the environment it's like what really are they that bad for you <laughs> That's, that sounds nuts is he dead the music stopped you're not dead at all you're just sleeping hello okay fine Okay, when he said critical damage, I thought, well, he's not going to take many more hits. It just means I'm going to float around and be a bit of a gimp. Yeah, still doing that challenge. Yeah. Useless machine attack. That didn't sound good. 
Oh, useless machine attack. It sounds like that was something that's supposed to be said about halfway through that encounter, or like the final quarter? Or is there something else? Let's check I'm not missing anything. It's still yellow, but I killed him. I had this problem before, right, where I went back and it hadn't filled up the basic bar, the red bar, the orange bar entirely. And it was like, oh yeah, you didn't even finish all of the corruption for the main thing. It's like, no, something spawned in the floor and I couldn't fucking kill it. And you just let me progress because you realized in Doom 2016, this happened a lot. And it forced people to reload checkpoints for hard encounters and everyone hated that. And now it's just like, oh, we're just going to fuck with your progress. Oh, in this case it might be this. Yeah, there's more yellow down here. Oh. There's two. These are enemies now. Okay. I thought it was a mini boss, not a oh mini boss straight into enemy. No. I am no heretic. I disregard this. Oh man, speaking of, oh, I'm doing it again, religious problems. Speaking of hilarious religious problems, I had a hardcore Christian say to me because I kept throwing up the devil horns because I'm very metal, and I was going hail Satan while we were drinking, he was like, oh, you're not one of those people who think Satanism's a real religion, are you? And I was like, because I've studied it and because like, I actually follow modern Satanism a little bit, I was just looking at him, I was like, well, you know, I guess not if God, because God's not real, so. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, only your special prima donna little religion's real, isn't it? Religion equals Christianity to Christians. Everything else is not a real religion. And I'm just like, well, not all Christians, but this guy, I mean, I was just like, Fuck off. Oh, yeah, sorry. I was like, it's more of a religion than the Scientology is, because that's more like a cult kind of status, you know? Douchebag, man. You get really, you hear really, if you study anything that's considered not the mainstream and beyond the fringe, you start to realize how uneducated people are after a while, and you just go, oh wow, you're just ignorant to the point of, like, offense. And you're just like, no, there's only Christianity, God is real, and you're like, um, sure, believe what you want to believe, but like, actually going out there, it's like, they're like the oldest flat earthers, you know what I mean? It's like, accept other people's views, dick, <laughs> you know? And it's like, a lot of Satanists nowadays are like, atheistic Satanists, they don't actually believe Satan's real, so they actually seem to make a hell of a lot more sense than I genuinely believe BD Man in Cloud. <laughs> But, hey man, if you want to believe that, I've heard people believe stupider shit, so, I don't care, but like, don't come into my face and go, yo, no, this religion you mentioned twice isn't real, it just makes you sound like a superstitious spaz, you know, <laughs> like, you know, it just makes you sound like you're going to burn me for witchcraft soon, because I've mentioned Satan and thrown up the horns twice, he's like, oh, it probably makes him a homophobe, and I'm like, yes, all my gay friends would totally agree. All of my gay Satanist friends will totally agree that I'm a huge homophobe for mentioning Satan twice. Says the Christian. <laughs> like, you know, um, yeah, your, your religion's not known for tolerating homosexuals quite well, on average, so... Maybe we could just move on from this, <laughs> like, you know. Oh man, I hate that. Like, I always say, like, you know... Believe what you want to believe, just don't let people it, let it impose on other people. Some people you meet are just so fucking intolerant to that idea that they could be wrong, that it's not about the religion, it's not about Christianity being wrong, or this being wrong, or like, whatever you want to say, Satanism's wrong, whatever. Like, I don't even really believe much about religious, it's more about like, it's religious stuff, it's more like a faith, and like, well it is faith. It's more like a kind of spiritual belief system. I use this to, like, this kind of rule helps me govern myself. 
it, these, this rule set makes more sense to me. It's more like philosophy to me, personally. That's how I view it. But, like, I hate people, man. When you're talking about these people, it's not about the religion. It's about their own narcissism. It's about, I'm right, you're wrong. And it's like, do you have any proof? I don't need to. I can shout louder than you. And you're like, mm-hmm. Wow. The extrovert paradox, everyone. Does it make you right? Read a fucking book. <laughs> and like at the end of the day, I kind of grew out of this in like college and uni of dealing with people making stupid political arguments and shit because I was always like, at the end of the day, I have my opinion. I don't force that opinion on people. And, um, you know, I my opinion changes all the time as I read more and I educate myself more and I grow and I change and like my opinions of things change as well with them. And like, um, you, you meet a lot of people and you're just like, oh, I died. Don't get close. Uh, yeah, and you meet a lot of people in this life and you just go, oh, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Like, people have different views. It's just I wish people had gave me the same kind of dignity that I gave other people, which is just like, I have a view. I am not shoving my view down your throat. I don't care about your view. I'll let you talk about your view if it makes you feel better, but I am not being dragged to church and told that I'm a bad, bad man who listens to the devil music. Because, like, I am not from the 1980s. <laughs> this isn't the satanic panic. Judas Priest aren't evil. <laughs> like, grow up. Same kind of people are scared of, like, any form of sexuality that's not straight, and every marriage that's not, like, race, race, same race. Grow up, man. It's fucking get past this shit. And like, yeah, sure, you can like go, oh yeah, I don't agree with that. I've got a friend, uh, this is gonna sound real weird, I have a friend who's like, oh man, I don't agree with gay marriage. And like, I wouldn't say that like, I'm like, oh fine, yeah, you know, whatever, like, I, I'm i like, well, I don't agree with that. But at the end of the day, if he has, he has a right to that opinion, the key thing about this guy is that he doesn't use it to stop gays being married. He just says, I personally don't agree with it, but like, if they're going to, that's fine. I can't do anything about it, and it's not my position to tell them no. I just personally, as a straight guy who's married to a woman, don't agree to it. And it's like, well, I don't think he's like, he's changing the world very much in that case, is he? It's like, he's not doing anything to stop it, it's just that he doesn't agree with it. Yeah, it's not great, but like, take some balls to come out and say it, I have to say that. And like, uh, I think it's fine. I think people should, that gays should get married if they want to. But then again, I just don't believe in marriage, so I don't really like the idea personally. That's just my opinion as well. That doesn't mean I think no one should be allowed to be married. I don't like it, doesn't mean everyone else has to hate it too. And this is the difference, right? This is what I get for talking. <laughs> Let's try again without you talking shit. Yeah, I don't like talking about this stuff because it like bothers me a lot because it's like we live in a world where it's like, dude, we all have different opinions and cultural backgrounds and we all come from a different space of thought. Just let people be people and we still have narcissists walking around going, oh, fuck off you. <laughs> like, I'm just trying to walk by him. Uh, yeah, and you still meet people nowadays who are like, my opinion is right. And you're like, how can you live in this world that you've built for yourself? Just spend your whole life. It's like the kind of people who eat like fucking roast dinners every Sunday and go, this is the best flavor I've ever had in my life. I will never try any other food. <laughs> Shut up. All other food is wrong. No one can eat it. It's like, what? what? <laughs> like, why? Because I don't like anything but roast dinners. Well, good. Good for you. I don't like roast dinners personally, but I'm gonna go and eat my Mexican food. No, you're wrong. Okay, sure, whatever, mate. You meet a lot of people like this still, to this day, a lot of people who are like, um, my opinion is right and everyone else is wrong, and you're like, and then when I talk to people about it, they're like, isn't that everyone there? And it's like, well, I don't think that way, you know? Like, I don't. I just think, oh, this is my opinion. 
it doesn't matter if I'm right or wrong. I just think that that's my opinion right now. If I read something and it changes my mind, well, then I'll adjust. But, like, right now this is my opinion and my interests lead me here. You know? Now, don't smash the heretic. Be nice to the heretic. You only got fed up in middle management telling you what to do. Machine designed only for killing. I think you should talk to them about your contract, sir. Because are they paying you a fair wage? I'm going to unionize the demon horde. Sure, that'll work. They call themselves priests. Is that just a way to get out of tax? <laughs> Maybe you should talk to your local hell union. In this case, when they say weak point, I think they basically mean you have to do this, otherwise you will not kill them. Which is probably why I'm losing quite a lot now. Because it's really hard to concentrate when there's two of them, you know? And they're really wide and they've got a big hitbox and good control. One of them's nearly dead, I see, but like... I'm not really sure how. He seems to be dropping health on his own. Watch his health bar while I move around. I saw it move without me even really hitting him. Yeah, reminder, I'm playing on Hurt Me Plenty, which is like the normal easy like I'm too young to die. So it's like, this isn't free, even on normal. And the description for normal was, somebody who knows how to play shooters and has had some experience before. And it's like, well, dude, I've been playing Doom and other games for years now, man. So, you know, it's, it ain't free. It ain't free. Oh, critical damage. Oh, they have two health bars. Okay, well, uh, we're gonna have to do some, like, hard hitting then. Uh, that's what those two pips are, that would make a lot more sense. Running around is not doing what I want. At least the other health bar seems to do a lot more damage. Um, Started. Yeah, so I did bad there. Yeah, I just don't get some people, man. I've never got understood the concept of people with heavy ego, because it's just like, you know, I'm not stupid enough to think that I'm always correct. In fact, like, I think the biggest skill you'll ever learn, and I learned this from fighting games of all things, actually, is that you will often make mistakes, and you can learn from them. And fighting games and video games in general really help me learn that. <clears throat> and um, you really need to learn, like, you won't, like, victory is not guaranteed, you are not always right. I think that's why a lot of people can't deal with video games that aren't super easy. Because they're like, their ego gets in the way, and I've seen people, like, get into screaming fits over things like Dark Souls. It's like, dude, it's just, it's just game. It's just game, don't worry. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> You, you, you're just like, um, <clears throat> to them it's like, it's more that their ego is being challenged. They don't like the idea that they're not a superb god being and the alpha in all situations. They don't like the idea of, huh, well I can learn to become a much cap more capable and dexterous person from learning how to do this properly. Failure has taught me so much more in my life than most people will learn their entire lives from just succeeding the whole time. Cause I was like, when I was young, I was always told I was really clever in primary school, so I just went, ah, and you know, it's always the worst thing to tell a kid. Because then you just sit back and go, oh, I'm intelligent, everything will come easy, and then I didn't come easy, and I was like, wait, I don't know how to learn and correct my errors. Because <coughs> it was just easy for the first few days. <coughs> oh. 
Go up at the floor. Oh, I do a bit of damage. Uh, yeah, like, and it was only when I hit adult education, really, or young adult education, like college, that I started to, like, my intelligence wasn't keeping it together for me for free. You know what I mean? Where I was just like, oh, yeah, I kind of know what this is. I'll work it out like, on the fly. It was around that point where I was failing everything. And honestly, being able to analyze your losses is possibly, and not go eh, and start throwing a temper tantrum like a two-year-old because it wasn't handed to you on a silver platter for once, is one of the most important things that you can learn in your life. Humility and learning from every mistake, because mistakes are really good lessons, because you've got a worked example straight away of what doesn't work, and you've got a worked example probably from that of what kind of works and what can be used to work because certain things it's like situational things it's like there are often like multiple ways to attack a problem like this and I'm doing it all the bad way really like ego is just a sign of childishness when it comes down to like people in general the idea of they're right and everything you say is wrong I once got in an argument with somebody and it's literally a case of I will just pull up the fucking Wikipedia article right now because he was like, oh yeah, like South African guy, so everything is Dutch. Everything is Dutch or South African in design. He's like, yeah, Volkswagen, that's Dutch. I'm like, it's literally German. Volkswagen is German for people's vehicle. I lived in Germany. Everyone knows Volkswagen is German. No, it's not. You're wrong. And I was like, dude, I can pick up the fucking page right now in front of you if you want. But I can tell you right now, Volkswagen's been German for years. Volkswagen was around when Hitler was around, and it was like a common vehicle at the time. In Germany, it's German. And he's like, nah, nah. And I was just like, dude, like, I'm just going to wait for my VPN to come on, and then I'm just going to like show you. <laughs> like, and he was like, and then the cab came, and he was like, no, it's fine. I don't need to see it. It's like, because you're fucking wrong. And I'm like a car guy. I know cars. So it's like, I've played enough car simulators. Gran Turismo literally has a little flag in the corner saying, look, it's the German flag. <laughs> and you're just like, dude, they're German. And like, this guy's ego was so high that he couldn't accept he was wrong. Like, he had a big problem with the idea that he could be wrong at any point, and I was just like, dude, you really need to get out of that, because that's a simple fact check. If you hate being wrong, at least check the answer so you always have the answer correct if you're going to talk about shit. And don't expect everyone to just go and, like, agree with your wrongness to stop you from crying. You know what I mean? It's just like, grow up, dude. It's just, and, like, he doesn't even like cars. And you were just like, dude, like, from a guy that actually knows even slightly anything about vehicles, I used to have owned a Volkswagen as well. Several. <laughs> like, and Skoda. Skoda are, like, kind of affiliated partners or something now. I think they're owned by the same conglomerate as Volkswagen, but they're not German from ori in origin, I don't think. But, like, this is the thing, right? I say, I don't know. I don't think. We could find out later. Other people are like, no, I'm right. And you're just like, oh. <laughs> like, sure, mate. The world revolves around you and your ego and your penis size. <laughs> you know? But anyway, enough whining. Ooh, that was good. Okay, he's not dying. I was hitting a shield, right? Is there a certain part of the shield I'm supposed to be hitting? Critical damage. I've got one of them, they're critical. But they just take so much, like, it's really about the plasma cannon with shields, because they kind of just hit with such a high rate of fire, you know. Uh, 
for like shield deterioration. I never really liked the plasma guns and anything. It's just not been a big fan of mine. Uh, but like I can get the hang of them after a while. Oh, well, he got in the way and it's fucked me up. <sighs> I remember when I was in college though. It was always the arguments about the bands and like that always that also really hits you as like you know some people can like other things and think they're good being good is not like it's subjective right you realize that after your teen years but everyone's like no man slipknot are the best i, I still worked with a guy at, uh, like when i was in airport security who could not deal with the idea that acdc might not be the greatest rock band on the planet to everybody because some people like guns and roses a little more and he's like yeah, like Guns N' Roses are cool, but they're not ACDC, and everyone knows ACDC are better. And it's just like that—that that is an opinion, <laughs> like you know. But I have like I have really fucked up opinions in some things. Like for example, I once said to him, um, "This was before Guns N' Roses reunited." I said, uh, "To be honest, I've because I saw Slash Live and Miles Kennedy a lot at this point, and I was a big Alter Bridge fan for a while. I kind of fell out with them after a while, just got a bit bored of them. And I was like, you know what, I just think Miles Kennedy is like, I prefer him as a lead singer, actually. Hearing him sing Guns N' Roses songs, it's just like he puts his own style on them, he's got a great vocal range, all of that shit, you know? I think I prefer him to Axl Rose. And he was like, oh man, you can't fucking say that, blah, blah, blah. like people are going to be pissed. And it's like, well, I don't really care, because at the end of the day, everyone knows Axl Rose is a dick. <laughs> but also just, uh... but it's like not really about his personality, I just prefer the sound, but like I can still appreciate Axl's vocals. What really got me was when everyone was like, Axl Rose was the best 80s rock or metal lead singer because it's like you realize the the people he was up against though actually there's quite a few contenders for that you I mean you got like peak era bruce dickinson peak era rob halford you got you know you got lemmy in this prime and i know he's not exactly a trained he's not like getting those high notes anytime soon but he's got a distinctive sound that a lot of people love Um, hit things, yeah. Uh, you know, and it's like, you can't really say things like that with definitive, definitive shiz, I think, personally. But you know, like, we again, we all have our own opinions, so. Oh man, college was weird though. We'd have this thing where I'd be in first year college with these people, and we were all in first year. And I'd be saying to him, yeah, man, um, you should just do this. Uh, and I'd be like, hey, man, I'm listening to this band called Deftones. They're pretty cool. Or like Kill Switch Engage. Oh, they're pretty cool. Yeah, you should check them out. And everyone would just fucking ignore me. I'd be like, yeah, sure, whatever, man. And then you like in third year, they'd be like, oh, man, I found this really cool new band. They're called Deftones. And I'd be like, oh, fuck you. Dude. Fuck you. <laughs> like, you know, it's like, or like one of my mates had this real weird obsession with a specific genre and it was new metal. And he would be like, oh, I only listen to new metal, like Slipknot and Limp Bizkit and shit. And I was like, those things are very different. And he was like, yeah, no, man, they're the cool shit, like Linkin Park. I was like, oh, you might like System of a Down then. He's like, they're not new metal. And he was like going all along about how they're not new metal. They're not new metal. This is quite hard. Oh no. They're giving me the baby thing because I'm a baby. Oh, they don't have to give it. Should we just do it, just push forward for the LP because I'm just sitting here talking random bullshit and it will pad out the game really. It's fine, I'll go back for it later. I have to for the secrets I missed anyway. Okay, so what's different? I want to see this because I actually haven't used this yet as well, so... It just makes me stronger.
Uh, yeah, so, yeah, he got really into, like, no, oh my god, the system of a down aren't new metal, what the fuck, and then he read a Kerrang article at some point, where they were, like, saying, oh yeah, this year at download, new metal giants, like, Corn and System of a Down, and he was like, oh, they're new metal now, I'm gonna go listen to them, like, and you're like, sure thing, buddy. Like, you really have to be that dictated to by the media to enjoy something. You can't just work out if you like them yourself. Because <laughs> honestly, I didn't think he would have actually enjoyed System of a Down if he hadn't been told that they were new metal. And that's kind of weird. <laughs> like, you know, especially because it's fucking new metal. <laughs> like, you know. But sure, sure, whatever, you know. We, we all have our things. Our weird, like, quirks and neuroses, you know. But he was the guy that we'd be at a metal club and we'd be listening to Disturbed and shit and he'd be like, oh yeah, okay, yeah, that's cool, okay. And then like Mastodon would come on Blood and Thunder and be like, oh, okay, that's fine. And like Dragon Force would play and we'd be getting drunk and be like, yeah, yeah, he's fine. And then like Last Resort by Papa Roach would come on and he'd be like, this is the best song in the world. And he legitimately unironically said that in a crowd full of hardcore metalheads who were like, where's the deicide? Where's the obituary? And he, like, now, when I was there, we'd just be like, you know, at that time in college, I wasn't heavy into death metal. So I was just like, oh, sure, whatever, dude. And I, you know, I just got to the point where I was just like, yeah, dude, whatever. Like, you know, he was just a fucking weirdo, to be honest. Like, sometimes he was funny, but he was just really fucking mad. Um, and... You know, we, you know, I wasn't really bothered at the time, but looking back in retrospect, there's probably a bunch of people there like, oh my god, look at this fucking cringe college kid who's like, oh, the heaviest thing is Papa Roach, and you're like, he didn't say heaviest to be fair, he said the best song though, and it's like, really? The best song in the world, and it's not a tribute? Wow. I was hoping it was rocket launcher. That's why I don't use the fast thing very often. I keep going to the wheel. So I did a lot of damage in my half health in there. Oh, the sentinel armor is broken. <laughs> okay, I feel bad for taking it now. Fine. It's good to try out these things just to see what, what the tools are, because, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, uh, he went, like, he went in on that shit, and he used to, like, legitimately love Good Charlotte and Sun 41. It's like, dude, fine, like those bands, I don't care, but, like, he'd be going out like, these are the greatest bands we'll ever see. Never believe that any musician just does it because he likes the music, they're just like, nah, man. And would come out with things like saying, yeah, metal was never popular, that's a lie. No one ever listened to death metal or like heavy metal in the 80s and it was actually like semi-mainstream or on like radio. That's bullshit. They're lying. And like he even said things like we'd be sat like just having fun, man, but having a bit of existential dread creep in as we get to the end of college. And he'd just sit there out loud saying things like, oh yeah, man, I guess when we stop uh, you know, only three more years at uni and then I have to grow up and get married, right? And we'd be like, dude, that's... You don't have to. He's like, nah, man, I mean, I'm going to be an alcoholic for this period of time and then I have to give it all up. And he was a hard alcoholic as well. Like, he used to drink so much. And he was like, yeah, going to get that all in at fucking uni and college. And then we got out of... I mean, like, he met this girl at, like, I shouldn't be saying this. <laughs> he met this girl at like um, his uni. We never met her. Uh, like he like barely she because she showed up to one thing that I didn't even go to, and she apparently whispered into his ear later saying, "I don't like any of your friends. All of your friends suck." And he was like, "Oh, okay then." Rather than like, "Hey, those are my friends," <laughs> and I was like, because he was just like, "No, the objective is find woman." And she was, like, really nasty. Oh, she was really nasty to us for some reason. Find woman. Get woman to marry. Okay, done. Now bland life begin. And it was like, oh, I would hate to be you. But, like, you know, I'm not going to, like, I don't want to be him, but he obviously is fine with it or whatever, so. 
cool. <laughs> like, you know, I'm not going to judge him too much. It was just weird, man, because it was like, you'd hear all this weird stuff. We'd be at, like, other people's marriage, uh, weddings and shit, which they were married and they were, like, really happy together. And he'd be like, oh, I'm going to have to get married soon. And you'd be like, why? He's like, oh, yeah, this girl like, I'm still dating from uni. And you're like, oh, are you still with her? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she's just forcing me to marry her. And I'm like, you know, you can say no, right? He's like, nah, man. Yeah, and then she apparently just accidentally got pregnant to make sure he wouldn't leave. And I was like, mm-hmm, cool. And we started making jokes about how he was just letting himself get bumbled into the marriage and he got really offended. But then he was like, nah, it's legit like that. And I was just like, I really don't want to be in a relationship like that, just personally speaking. I'm just running around and around. With this armor, you can just keep going for a while, so... Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that works, even with the shields up. That's good to know. Still take a little bit of damage. Yeah, like, so, yeah, you know, like, personally, my, like, personal attitude towards these things is very different from his, so his, like, life seems like hell to me. But he was just like, nah, that's a man's role. A man's role, you know what I mean? He was very right-wing. Woman's role is to be in kitchen, have baby. Man's role to win the bread, and you were like, and they have a house and everything, and like I think his parents helped him get the house because in this economy. But like, I'm really gossiping. <laughs> but like, uh, hey man, it does it doesn't fucking matter. Uh, very strange. I just remember that we were at a wedding and someone else mentioned that their girlfriend was Asian, and. My girlfriend's he hadn't spoken to me for five years because he was like, oh, my my now wife doesn't want me to talk to any of you because because uh, she doesn't like any of you. And I'm like, OK, so he basically didn't speak to me since I left from the New Zealand to after that. And he was like, at the wedding, he's like, hey man, we'll have to hang out more. And I'm like, yeah, sure. And he was like, I'll have to get your number. Then didn't speak to me for the rest of the event. And I was like, okay, sure. Well, I'm, I'm going to be moving on soon because I was already planning to leave for China at this point. And like, I'd had like several Chinese and Vietnamese girlfriends. And this other guy had his, was in a relationship with a Chinese girl. And uh, this guy just basically said, oh God, you're not married to an you're not going to marry her, are you? And we were like, whoa, are you just saying that we can't marry Asians? And he's like, well, like, and he used to say things in college, like, I don't find black people attractive. And you were like, uh, you're making me feel really uncomfortable. Fine, you don't find them attractive. But like this new level was like, oh, you're not allowed to marry or have children with non-white people if you're white. And I was like, um, that's a new level. <laughs> like of extreme that's that's taking it from that boundary i was talking about earlier yeah where it's like fine your personal sexual preferences cool fine you have them i have mine and now you're saying i'm not allowed to have them because you don't have them that's when it's a problem and he was like you can't have children with them you know and we were like no we can and also stop calling them them <laughs> like you know um, they have names, asshole, <laughs> like, you know, and like, like, to be honest, he said that, and uh, my brain, that's kind of why I didn't even bother giving him my phone number, I was just sat there like, so, like, my girlfriends for the past five years since you've been away have been Asian or black, <laughs> like, you know, I'm sat there like, and you're sitting here going, oh, you can't, like, have children with them, you'll create a mongrel breed. And I was just like, oh, <laughs> well, you can guarantee I'm never speaking to you again. <laughs> like, you know, ooh. 
didn't realise some of my old college friends are fucking racists. <laughs> like, you know. Oh, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> like, real awkward. <clears throat> yeah, it really opened my eyes. <laughs> like, you know. Jesus. <laughs> you know, just like, oh, that's... That's difficult to deal with, <laughs> like, you know, and I was just like, okay, so that's a thing that I'm just going to have to pretend, definitely not inviting him to my marriage, because whoever it is, doesn't really matter what race it is, I feel like he's going to have a problem, because I live in Asia, <laughs> like, you know, so let's just say statistically speaking, it's likely that my girlfriend or future partner, if I do get married, is going to be probably someone of the locals, and even if they're not, are probably going to be from a similar, a different country, because there's various expats here, she might be German, she might be like, you know, Greek, uh, like anything really, she might even be Welsh, <laughs> like, you know, and like, um, no, that he really opened my eyes to, oh, I thought that I hung out with cool people who were chill. No, apparently racism is literally everywhere if you look. And yes, if you are white in England, you don't notice it for a long period of time. Then you start dating people or hanging out with people who are not white and you go, Oh, I thought Britain was tolerant. They're not very tolerant in some places. <laughs> I think, you know, I had a friend who was from uh, St. Lucia and she was like, I want to say... She, she was Christian, but I can't remember the specific sect, and she went to church in Edinburgh, and it was like an all-white church, and she was the only black lady, and she was new to the area, and they all literally just moved to the other side of the place, like, I don't want to be seen with this person, and it was like, ooh, that's not nice, <laughs> not nice. Let's just wipe this guy out. Oh, you live. Oh, I saw that one. I want to see a new one. My cat's knocking things over for attention now. So yeah, like, uh, yeah, you get your eyes open a lot when you're not just the majority race in your, like, nation and you actually start talking to people from other backgrounds. How quickly people are somehow really freaked out by that idea and you're just like... And you're just like, uh, you realize they're just people, right? And apparently they don't realize that. And they actually think that they're like an alien species. Especially from what my friend said. <laughs> like, you can't breed with them. Um, yeah, don't say that. <laughs> like, you know, stop. <laughs> like, yeah, that was the worst thing that I'd ever heard in my life. And I'm kind of trying to make it sound humorous, but like, honestly, it made me sit there and go, okay, I need to leave and like, not talk to this person until I can cope with dealing with this person. And he was like proper shaming the other guy who was just the first guy to mention that his girlfriend was Asian. Like, you know, and it's like, no problem with that. We all don't have a problem with that, but like, what was really fucked up was he was quite derogatory about her as well. His like he wasn't like racist or anything, but he was very much like, Oh she's trying to marry me and I feel a little uncomfortable and stuff like that. And it was like a normal like he's just like not ready kind of thing. And my parents and like they're super racist, they say that they're not, but they really are. And um they were like, See, see, you shouldn't marry Chinese women. They're just after the green card and I was like Oh, fuck you. <laughs> like, you know, like, oh no, I ain't dealing with that. I ain't gonna deal with that shit, you know? Where's this guy gone? He's massive. How can I not see him? That will work. Yeah. Oh, they just have this kill by the look of it. Okay, that's still pretty good. Unless I have to hit them from the back. Yeah, that's that's how you respond to that. What is it with these games and like extreme beheading? For some reason the beheading when there's a body twitch 
and the body stays up for a long period of time, and it's still like that really fucks with me, man. You know, <laughs> they they do it at the beginning of Wolfenstein Two, and I was just like, oh my god, <laughs> like, no, don't show me that. Oh, Blood Punch is more powerful now. So yeah, that was. I want to continue. I'll cut this up later anyway. Man, it's fucked. Some people are fucked, man. Anyway. It, oh, we're going back to the Doom Fortress, so this is good. I can start plugging batteries in left and right. And we're just going to plug them in and see what happens. So there's, we, there's three Hell Priests, right? We've killed two. It's only mission four. Oh, stop being a cock block. Oh, don't trust people with free fingers. Done that when I started chasing after them in the first place because now you only got one left. It. Oh, this is all on Earth, you know. I just got messed on Earth. Super gore nest. <laughs> so, this is all on Earth. Nexus. So, when you know, I said in part two. Exaltia might be a different planet because it just feels so different. They have like, oh, and there's a mission select there. See, master levels here. I don't have any. I don't know how to. There's no arc thing. Okay, so yeah, like you know, before I was saying, oh, Exaltia feels like it's a different planet because they've got all of this different architecture and shit. But there's demons here too, and like stuff. No, it is all on Earth, but the first mission's called Hell on Earth, so it confused me because I was like, are the rest not on Earth? You see, I got these now. Into Sandy Sea. Should be playing. Maybe it takes a while to pipe in. So the way the batteries work is you unlock more of your ship than or you plug in, but I don't know which is the advantageous thing to plug in first. Yeah, look, we got the the Gorse Cannon Railgun Replacement, the Ballista. Hey, this doesn't look like the Gorse Cannon at all. Let's have a little look. See how it works. Arbor. Okay, it's actually not <laughs> a rail gun, it seems like it's very good. So this is, I assume, the Unmaker. Yeah, so those Empyrean keys, you use them, I got the first, no, I got both of them off screen actually, didn't I? So, um... The Empyrean keys unlock this, which I mistakenly called the BFG. It is not the BFG. I just saw a cool gun with a big load of hell energy around it and was like, ah, it looks like an important end of game gun. Probably the BFG. It's not. What it is, is something called the Unmaker. And as the final boss is called the Maker, I'm going to go ahead and assume that it's like pretty good or it's useful to have for the final boss or something. So you can see, you know, they've got these and they unlock a thing. They unlock doors. And the, the doors have field drones and shit. So basically, and each one takes two. 
Uh, so yeah, you got this. So it's just the same kind of shit up here. Um, we're just going to have a look at all of them. You see, all of these are supposed to have vinyls in. So um, you see, there's a sentinel crystal here and another one here. <clears throat> So that's interesting. Um, I've got how many batteries, so I can open three doors. Uh, but let's see if there's anything else we can unlock in this. There are secrets in here. Oh yeah, that, that would be the thing that I was just looking at right there. Well, yes and no. It's okay, babe. My cat is saying meow to me. I have to limit my playthroughs to two hours or so at a time because always he starts knocking things over in my house for attention and going, meow, look at me, meow. Uh, so, yeah. Standard at Doomsgate. So I could get a mod, or I could get like another thing that upgrades my health and stuff, and you know I do kind of need those, so... We just, yeah. Might as well, right? So if you got them, might as well use them. I kind of want 100 armor because this is kind of a weird number, 75. I, I don't like it. It's a fine number, I guess. Sorry, 75 fans. See, I have to... I mean, if I do this one, then do the other one, I can do the quick draw belch and be pretty progressed here. So yeah, I told myself I wasn't going to commentate dank bullshit for this Doom thing, I managed to spend like half an hour talking about dank bullshit. Kind of annoyed with myself, because I wanted to talk more about the tech. Uh, this is cool. So like I, like, I was kind of nervous actually, like, when I first played the game. When I first booted up Doom Eternal, I was like, oh, I'm not sure if this is what I wanted at all. And I was really worried that I was like gonna be in a minority about it, first of all, and that everyone's gonna be like, what are you talking about? It's amazing. Because everyone that I was looking at online was going, oh, is this the best Doom ever? And I was like, it's really good, but I'm not sure if I really like it. And as I've been playing it and doing the replay stuff and getting more into the combat and stuff and getting the hang of it, a little more, I've been like, oh no, you know what, I do like it. I do like it quite a lot. There's a lot of stuff uh, to do. Uh, there's a lot of, like, let's see, what else do we have? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to do. There's a lot of um, collectibles. There's lots of depth. There seems to be lots of, like, I keep accidentally falling on, like, kind of not spoilers. Oh. I feel like I should be allowed in here. Is there something wrong? Is there glass? Hmm. Oh look, there's this cool mech. See what I was saying before, I feel like there's gonna be some sort of... Ooh have the big mech anime stare at the doom mech. You can't tease that and nothing happens with it, right? Ooh! Threw myself off. There's another one of these prey to token guys. I mean, I could use one of them, but how many have I got? One, so... Ooh, I got loads of weapon points. Now, I could get a thing for this straight away, couldn't I? 
and then we could just head going with it modded. Uh, that would be a good idea, actually. Uh, what else was I going to say? So yeah, you see I've got 150 health, 100 armor now. It feels like good, good chunky numbers, chunky numbers. Yeah. So, uh, like, what was I saying? Um, yeah, like, the game is really good. I just, it took me a lot longer to get into it, as in it took me more than one level to get into it, and I was still kind of like... Once, you, like, at the beginning, it does a bit of a mistake, I would say. Ooh, I can just... Okay. Oh, this is a repertorium, okay. I don't want to be here right now. Trying to go up actually. So, uh, yeah, like it does. Well, I would call this a mistake. They, um, I can finally see where the uh, the pips for your chainsaw are, and they are tiny. Uh, bottom right. See, how do I go up? Oh. Oh, that's just... Oh, I'm so stupid. Um, yeah, I feel like this was like a bit of a mistake for them to go at the beginning. Okay, you have no dash. You have the double jump, but you don't have the dash, you don't have the flame belch, you, you don't have like frag grenade straight away. And it makes you feel a bit like, oh, I'm not really... Everything's hitting me and I can't get out of the way fast enough kind of thing. And then it gives you the dash and all of this like air superiority stuff where you can do low cool shit. Air combos and running around. Uh, yeah, and it just feels a lot better for it, you know. Uh, once you've got all that stuff and once you start getting the guns. And I think I remember at the beginning of Doom 2016, to be honest, the same thing where I watched an LP of it recently and like people were saying, the people playing it were saying the same thing. At the beginning, you're having trouble with Hell Knights. You're having trouble with dealing with these enemies and stuff. But then you get there and you're just like, no, I can do it now, you know? I don't want to pray you, I want a fuel drone, right? There's probably something else I could have used these for that would have been way more interesting, but like... I'm gonna try and get them all on anyway, so... It was that armor, wasn't it? The classic armor? That would have been cool, but like... I don't think I would have used it. So it's kind of like the torque bow, kind of, and that's like a kind of wide hit. I think I'm just going to go for this just to try and... Yeah, there's definitely stuff, you know? Um, yeah, so let's use this. I'm, I'm just going to... I'll probably cut some of this because it's just me... Uh, Upgrading stuff, but like, uh, micro missiles. Kills with the heavy cannon will boost my crew. Okay, damage for a little while. Using heat blast right now. Two heat blast charge shot is increased by the firing delay. Used. Okay. So 
we'll go be that. Um, we pretty much just have this fully upgraded straight away, but I kind of want to make sure my other weapons aren't left behind because of this. And that would be handy. I'm oh, just going to do this one. And then we're going to do the one that was the six. Oh, that's microwave beam. No, we don't. I'm not going to do that either. I think it was this one. And then I've got two mastery challenges. Two mastery challenges to do, yeah. And you know, like that makes gives me a lot of options now. Gotta make them guns better. So, I guess we can look in the room. We drop those here. So, there we got more things. Gargoyle, the Hell Knight, Imp, the Lost Soul, got the Soldier with the Blaster, Earth Zombie. Nice. Oh yeah, and I missed this last time. Him with his bunny. Daisy. Reason Doom Guy is so angry. A lot of people like talking about this because it's quite funny that his um you think, oh, there's probably a big reason for why he's so angry. It's basically about that rabbit. Like the reason he's so angry is mostly about the rabbit. And actually his rabbit only dies at the beginning of Hell on Earth, the second classic Doom game. Uh, originally, he's just angry because he's trapped on a Phobos moon station. And apparently he got put up there because uh, he was so angry he punched a guy in the face or something. He punched a commanding officer really hard and they would punch him so hard they demoted, they chucked him up on like a moon duty patrol and the rest of the team get murdered and he's left there and he's just like, I'm gonna kill me some zombies. Then he comes back after like the whole of Doom 1, which is him going to hell, him doing all this stuff, and then his rabbit's dead and he's like, Ooh, I'm so angry. Oh, I missed this. This is like from the first game. This is where you get the Argent energy thing. Neat. Little things everywhere, look. It's pretty good, those little... Although I don't recognize any of this. I was just like, oh, well, that's cool. Let's look at everything else. And everything else is just like tech that I'm like, um, don't worry, it's a skateboard. I said that last time. Um, oh, I did that last time too. So, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to end the LP recording session there just for data purposes because otherwise my laptop's going to say, nope. It only has so much hard disk space. Um, why can't I be allowed to do here? It's important. Feels like this is a bug. Aren't I supposed to be able to get through here? Look. What the hell? There's no window tint. That's weird, man. I thought there should be a door there or something. Okay, let's see if there is an arc broadcast to finish on. There is not. So yeah, if we get look in the menu. Yeah, I know, because I've been doing it the other way. So you can see here that I filled out that bar, I've got all of the stuff. I got all the stuff, there wasn't a bar on the first one. And this is what I'm talking about. Stuff more stuff appears for every level for you to do. Like you do one thing and then you do another thing and it's like, oh, look, there's another thing. And like, you know, there's a corruption meter and there's just more stuff to pick up and all of this. And then it's like, oh, okay, I'll just, you know, like, and yeah, I messed up one of those things. And then there's challenges and then there's like, you know, secrets and then there's this one and I've missed two things. My standard number is I always miss one challenge and two pieces of like, stuff. So this time it was an album and a suit point. 
and uh, that would have got me another Sentinel battery if I did, if I found that album. So I always do this where I just two, two progression items or whatever they're calling them, secrets, and uh, one challenge. So I'm going to have to go back off screen and do that later, but I don't know. Someone told me I don't have to do the whole level again, which they told me earlier. You can fast travel. I don't know how, but we'll find out. You can also use these and it doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't stop you from getting what you need, so it's just like... You could just like god mode. You could just activate all the cheats that here. Yeah. And just like, you know, just god mode your way through like infinite extra lives, full armor like we saw when I was fucking up before. And like that as well, and have all of these going. If I have them all, just to pick up other things, and it still lets me pick up the progression items. So it's like what I was saying before about runs and shit, and me going, "Oh, look, here's all of the secret runs." The map trivializes how to find secrets, showing a high-end level play run of me going, "Yeah, look, no hits or like speedy or whatever." It's just like these levels are hours in length. And um, I keep dying, <laughs> but also I can just activate all the cheats and then go, oh yeah, man, I'm just really good at the game and take a single hit of damage. <laughs> you know, like, it's just like, so I'm probably not going to do that. I'm probably just going to do this run and then maybe try it on Nightmare at some point or a harder difficulty later as like a new game plus thing. We'll see. It's already a big game. We've done four levels, it's taken me fucking forever so far. Two sessions, four levels. And, um, no, three sessions, four levels. And, um, someone told me, because I couldn't avoid all of the spoilers, that there's 13 missions. So I think we're going to be here a while anyway. And then I want to do Akami. I was going to duel this and Akami, but there's not enough space on my hard drive. So, yeah. Anywho, I guess I'll end it there.